Welcome to an introduction to files in C Sharp. Uh, this particular video is going to focus on using the stream reader and stream writer with text files. Uh, but overall, files come in a variety of forms, and there's a piece of the C Sharp slash .NET library that will allow you to work with all sorts of types of files, uh, text files, binary files, structured files, whether you want to read them sequentially or in random access, uh, whether you want to create them, open them, close them, etc. There's pieces of the .NET library that's going to make uh, file work particularly easy. Today we're going to work on stream readers. Uh, for those of you who've been using the console uh, read line and write line functionality to read and write from the text console, uh, the concept is exactly the same, except that you now break the reading and writing into two different halves. So stream writers can write files and stream readers read from files. Uh, so here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and create the connections that are going to uh, link our program to actual files in the file system. And those are stream readers and stream writers. Uh, those functionalities are in another library. And so we need to include the system.io uh, functionality. This is where it defines all the file input output uh, functionality in C Sharp. So uh, if we want to create a file, so since we don't have a file we have to mess around with, I might as well write something to a file. So I'm going to create a new stream reader here. Sorry, writer. I want to create one. And uh, this will be, I'll call it SW, or stream writer. And I need to create it. So going to be a new stream writer. And here you can see that there's multiple versions of this. I can have a generic stream already as an option. Um, I can have a path that's going to lead to a file. Uh, I can have a path with um, an argument as to whether I want to add on to the file or overwrite it. So this is, uh, this is the format I'm going to use. So um, it's a little more uh, functionality than this previous uh, version, which is just the string path. This will uh, allow us to decide whether we want to add on to the file or overwrite the file if it already exists. So I'm going to give it a path. Uh, in my particular case, I'm just going to give it a path in my development binary file uh, folder. So I'll just call it test.x. And then I am going to say false. I do not want to append, which means it'll create a new file uh, if, regardless of whether it already exists or not. So I now have a stream writer that is attached to a file in the file system. And this could be any path in your file system. So if you wanted to put it in a specific directory, you could include like C colon slash, um, you know, uh, home directory slash whatever. But here I'm just going to let it be created in the default location where my program is created and stored. Uh, so now let's write something to this file. So uh, SW now is the object that allows me to interact with the um, with the file. And you can see that there's a variety of functions uh, that are associated with this object. And I have write and write line. So if I want to write a line of text to the text file, I will write a line of text to the file. And on execution of that uh, line of code, it will write that string out as a line of text. So it's going to write line. It will append a carriage return at the end for a new line. And um, you can think of text files as structured files that are broken up by uh, carriage returns at the end. So each line of text will be read or written to the file a line at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and close this file. If it happens, you can have it close the files when you're done with them. So if I want to actually write that file and then close it, my program will be done with this particular functionality. And um, we'll see if that file gets written by running the program. So let's go find that location. In this particular case, since it is in um, my 
uh, uh, I let it go into the default development environment. It's going to run in my uh, streams bin folder debug. This is where that code is going to execute from my particular console project. So if we sit here and we hopefully have this build up for and I will go ahead and run my console application. It ran very quickly, bringing that folder back up. And you'll notice that we have just written the text file test.txt. If I open this up with Notepad, that we have successfully written text from our program out to the text file. So let's see if we can read it back in. So if I want to read from the text file, I'm going to do a screen reader. And I'll call it XR read screen reader. Um, Test.txt. So we we'll read that. I think I can just do it directly from there. And now if I want to read it in, I need to like for it. So I can either write it out to console, but I'm going to create a string here. So I'll put a string and I'll say this is the uh, line that it's running in. And I'm going to read that line from the screen reader. So that would be sr.readline. By default, the screen reader begins at the beginning of the, uh, of the file and reads one line at a time. If you keep calling sr.readline, you will continue to read lines of text until you get to the end of the file. So let's go ahead and display the string on the screen. So I'll put console readline. And this is the end. And then I'll do if console.readline. I will sit there and wait for us to be able to see what result we got. So here we go. Um, here's my code, and you can see, hello, screen writer, how are you doing? This uh, That has been read successfully from the file. So there you go. Uh, creating screen read writers and screen readers is a very simple way of reading and writing from text files. And um, just remember that they are read in one line at a time, and um, they will work with existing files. If you have a text file that you created elsewhere, you can still read them in with Screen Reader. You don't have to necessarily have written it from a screenwriter.